What's up guys, so in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to do the green screen effect in Final Cut Pro X. So first off, I want to give you guys that's not familiar with green screening a little tip. You don't want to have any shadows around your object. In that way, Final Cut Pro X can tell the difference between the object and the background. As you can see, I have a few shadows around my object because I only used one light. That's why I recommend you guys to when you do green screening, you use a multiple light setup. But let's just see how it works. First off, you want to drag in your clip. Next thing you want to do is choose a background. You can either choose one of your own images or videos or whatever, or you can choose one of Final Cut Pro X stock backgrounds by going under Generators, Backgrounds, and choose whatever you want. I'm going to choose a cloud for this one. Be sure to locate it under your object. And let's trim it down. Okay, as you can see in my clip, the green screen is not fully covering the whole frame. And you want it to do that. So, I'm going to select my clip, hit the crop icon, and crop it down. So now we're starting to see the background behind our, our object. But we still have the green screen. So we're going to hit done, go over to the effects, under keying, and click and drag keyer, and drop it on your object. So now, we have it. This is basically our final product. You have your keyer menu over here, where you can tweak it a little bit. You can fill the holes, blur out the edges, and um, edit in the spill level. So, I'm not going to do much more about it, just going to give it a little bit down here. That's it guys, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, write in the comments what you think I should do next, and be sure to subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.